Hi everybody, it's Ramona from The Healing Grapevine and I've been doing some research today digging a little deeper into some of the uh, medical science research based on far infrared health benefits and the healing properties behind far infrared. There are a lot of sort of looped links on the web about the benefits behind far infrared and I really wanted to dig deeper into uh, the medical sciences that are talking about uh, really amazing stuff and I found this particular website experimental Biologi biology and medicine and this article is specifically talking about the healing of the skin and wounds on the skin and I thought that was very apropos for those of us who are challenged with the skin issues, the hypertoxicities, Morgellons. Um, this is a very big topic of course for our community. So uh, on this particular, now I just have up the abstract on the articles because you can go in to go into these links and find the full PDF, read the whole thing, but uh, for today I wanted to just pull up the abstract which will give us some of the um, highlights. And what they were measuring was the effect of far infrared its biological effects on healing wounds. Um, they were testing, of course, on rats. Well, you know. Anyway, and um, what they discovered was that, in fact, uh, it did increase the uh, speed of recovery for a wound when they used far infrared on a group of rats. And, of course, they had a controlled group who didn't get any kind of far infrared and it was a very significant change in um, wound healing, here we go, wound healing was significantly more rapid with than without far infrared. Um, they did say, they've noted that the skin blood flow and skin temperature weren't changing as significantly but the histological findings and changes uh, were that there was greater collagen regeneration and infiltration of fibroblasts. Now this is all gets you know very medical and science if you will but uh, in fact uh, it is increasing the growth factor of this factor B1, TGF, B1 in the wounds which is again very medical and science oriented but the point is what they're saying is that they did discover that by putting far infrared on a wound, it did increase the uh, wound heal time. And that's significant. That's really cool. Okay. Then uh, from the same group, they went and decided to do some research on what would the effects be of far infrared on healthy skin? What if it's not about healing a wound? And this was really interesting because they were measuring tensile strength. Now tensile strength, I looked this up on uh, Wikipedia to make sure I understood it, is uh, the measure of maximum stress that material can withstand. Now we're talking about the skin's tensile strength. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about the maximum stress load you can put on skin before it will break. Ha! Ah, very cool. Far infrared, this study showed that the impact of the exposure of far infrared increased tensile strength and composition of unwounded skin. That's really cool. So uh, their sort of uh, conclusion was that, um, where did I read that? Here it is, that a steep increase in tensile strength occurred between one and two weeks in the far infrared group and that tensile, screw, tensile strength in the far infrared group was found to be significantly higher than the control group at a two week measure out from having gotten the far infrared. This is really interesting to me. As you would know, um, having my own recovery from Lyme and Morgellons, uh, the biggest presentation of symptoms for Morgellons tends to be the skin and we know that skin is uh, apparently the largest elimination organ. It actually is an organ of elimination for the system and so uh, its job is to help uh, flush toxins and foreign materials out through the skin as a matter of fact. So by uh, stimulating 
the collagen, the tensile strength, uh, the studies about it increasing the wound healing time, all of this to me really says that far infrared is the way to go in helping to uh, recover from a condition like Morgellons. Um, as you know, I've got a page here on my website. Um, I do a lot more information about the, the main principles behind Far Infrared in this video and of course um, have a full list of Far Infrared products. So uh, as many may know from my story, I did use the sauna as the major uh, therapy unit in my recovery. However, um, I also now have two rainbows, two heating pads. Uh, these units are m more cost uh, effective for some folks um, and they're also very portable. So they go with me, the far infrared goes with me, the heating pad goes with me anywhere I go. Um, so anyway, this was really eye-opening information. I had not found any research yet specifically about the skin and the effects of the far infrared, positive effects and healing benefits of far infrared for our skin. So uh, this was really huge. I wanted to uh, share this with you. And um, remember, please, to visit me at blog.healinggrapevine.com and healinggrapevine.com. And remember... You heard it on the grapevine. Excellent.